Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be answering a bunch of computer science Reddit questions. Hopefully these questions will answer some of the questions that you have or, you know, pose more questions that you could have in the future that you could then ask me that I can then make a video about, maybe, possibly. So if you're interested, please keep watching. And also don't forget to like and subscribe down below so you can get more videos like this in the future. And if you see me like looking down at any point, it's just because I'm looking at my laptop so that I can be able to see these questions and read them to you out loud and in real time. So <laughs> yeah, don't mind me. So I'm in my second semester of the CS major. I'm only taking four classes, linear algebra, calc two, discrete structures, and computer architecture right now because I think the workload is manageable in regards to my part-time job on campus. My issue is that all these classes do not involve coding. What should I do to stay familiar with coding? Object-oriented programming with Java was my last coding class given the workload I'm doing. Great question. I think in this situation, if you're taking classes that don't directly involve coding, take it upon yourself and take the initiative to keep coding after class. And it might not sound fun to some people, but it was fun to me. Just pick up a language that you're really interested in, whether it's a front-end language like Node.js or JavaScript or something like that, or something more back-end like Java or Python. Just pick something that you're interested in that you can make a project out of so that even if you're not coding in class, you still have something to do on the side that involves coding or learning another language. And then that's an awesome thing to put on your resume that you took the time and you took the initiative out of class to be able to learn different skills that you're not learning in class um, and then you can be able to build a really cool project out of it for me i kind of did this in a way but um because a lot of my courses when i was taking programming classes a lot of them taught me a lot of back-end things so i know python and c plus plus C++, C++, Haskell, and some other backend programming languages, but I didn't learn anything about front-end language. So a lot of my side projects were working on building websites and making them look pretty and figuring out ways to, and figuring out ways to develop the front end part of my programming knowledge and so that it could be able to complement the back end knowledge that I was learning in class. Next question. Should I take summer classes or try to get an internship? If I take a full load of summer classes, then I should graduate by spring 2020, taking me five years to complete the degree. Otherwise, it would be fall 2020, taking me five and a half years to complete it. I have two internships under my belt so far, but do you think an additional internship would be beneficial or should I try to graduate ASAP? Okay, so that's a great question. And I think it really depends on what your goals are. For me, I would say definitely apply to internships, but there's no guarantee that you will get one. So if that doesn't end up working out, then you could definitely go back and take those summer courses and get that out the way so that you can graduate earlier and then get a job. Kind of also depends on the internships and where you did them. If you did an internship at a really big company that are big name or brand name companies and you did like really good work there, then yeah, graduate early because then you can use those internships and what you did there as leverage for the full-time position that you end up doing. It's kind of a toss up and depends on what your goals are. It just depends on what you want, you know, is one internship worth giving up the potential of graduating early and having a full-time job you know it's it's up to you to depend to it's up to you to decide what your what your what your priorities are next question you constantly have to keep up to date with new things to maintain a cs career to maintain a career in the cs field do you constantly have to keep up with new things do you have to constantly keep up with new things or do things you originally learn like through college go out of date and are deemed useful or useless quickly or is there foundational knowledge in CS which you can learn through university and it's still relevant down the line? Another really good question. Depending on you know what you do at your current job or what you want to do later down the line, that kind of determines 
the languages and things that you learn. However, the foundations, like I talked about this in my software engineering versus computer science video, which you can find up here or up here, I don't really remember. I'm, one of these days I'll figure out the corner. But um, in that video, I kind of talked about how software engineering really relies more on you being able to constantly learn new things about the software development world. And one of those new things is being able to pick up on different languages and versus computer science where you're learning foundational knowledge that no matter what and no language, no matter what language you end up learning, the fundamentals will always be the same. For what I can speak for, this is a lot of what you learn in the computer science major. A lot of the theoretical knowledge that you're learning are theories and practices that you can still apply day in and day out no matter what you end up doing in your career for computer science so even if tomorrow my boss asks me to learn a completely new programming language it's still going to be based off the fundamentals that i've learned two or three years ago when i was taking data structures and when i was taking algorithms or other theory courses like that think about object oriented programming and functional languages and data structures these are things that are never going to change. These are concepts that you're always going to need to know. So there will come times where you have to go back and kind of reestablish what you've learned and just go back and look at it, do a little bit, do a problem here and there just to reaffirm those concepts that you've already learned. But just realize that, you know, those concepts are never going to go away. You're always going to need to know them. You're always going to have them which is a good thing, which is a really good thing. So if you were to look at any computer science curriculum, you would see that, you know, a lot of the courses reflect long-term foundational knowledge and concepts that you're gonna need to know no matter what you are in your career, but that have you implement them maybe in like, um, in like specific technologies that can come and go. Foundational knowledge that you learn in computer science, you're always gonna need them. That was all the questions um, that I'm going to answer for this video. I don't want this video to be super long. If you like that and if you want more videos like this, I can make it a series. I think it's really cool to just go through and answer questions off the fly. Um, but if you like videos like that, make sure to like and subscribe so that you can get more videos like this in the future. And then make sure to check out the last video that I did about how to get your, it's either here or there, one of these, about how to get your first or just next software engineering internship. I have some tips and tricks in there for you. If you need some websites to, if you need some websites to visit or just general um, advice on how to get your next internship. And yeah, I'll see you next time.